Hi, uh, I'm going to demonstrate Scapula, which is this um, kind of UI uh, I've been working on for, for editing uh, React apps. Um, and I'm going to build a little application that, that shows film posters of my favorite films. Um, I'm going to start off by just kind of pasting in a, a handy method that um, headline is it gets um, a set of films from the Airtable API where I keep my favorite films in a base there um, and just uh, returns them as JSON. So that's going to help me. Um, but let's start with uh, kind of roughing out the, the very basics of the app. So um, I'm going to put most of my or the actual app stuff in inside this div um, and then I'm going to import uh, Scapula, um, which is going to let me edit my React app. Um, and I just kind of need to pop in a few uh, pieces to help me with this uh, to set up the kind of basic outline of the of the page. So I'm going to make this a flex box um, and I'm going to make it the full width um, of the page. Um, and then I'm going to make my app uh, a similar thing. So um, flex box um, with flex row and then also the full width. So uh, you can see on the right that now we've kind of got the, the app on the left, and then this is uh, Scapula, the, the UI for editing on the right. Um, so now we can actually start using Scapula. Um, so in here, I'm going to I'm going to break up my page into two two columns. So I'll have a left column um, and, a, and a right column. Um, so they've been they've appeared here, and now I can style them uh, using Scapula. So I just used a good old uh, browser element select tool. Uh, to select my left column there, um, and let's give it a nice, nice color of let's say yellow, um, and I'll give it some padding uh, to around the text, and then give it a bit of margin to give it a nice border, um, and then let's make it rounded um, right around the corners. Then I can do the same with the with the right panel. Um, it's pretty similar here, so I'm going to go with uh, orange this time um, and let's say we'll do the same padding of course um, and, and the same margin and round it as well um, and then uh, let's make the, we'll make the right hand side a three quarter uh, sorry a quarter width um, that's going to show a list of films down here um, so I can just pop down to widths and choose uh, one quarter um, and then we'll make the left hand side uh, the rest of the the space of three quarters. Um, so that's the kind of basic stuff on the page now. Um, so that's feeling good. I don't love this this double width um, border here, so I'm I'm going to fix that by uh, just changing the margin to be uh, zero, and then just put uh, the uh, left margin and uh, top margin and bottom margin, and then the the right hand thing can deal with the the margin between them. So that, that looks a little nicer. Um, cool, so we've got the basic structure uh, stubbed in now. Um, let's let's get some let's get some stuff on the page. So a um, bit of kind of some busy work here, just some just some programming stuff, I guess. Um, so we're gonna uh, get our films and we use state to store those. Um, array of records. Um, and that just starts out empty. Um, I just need to uh, import record here. I've already got a type for that um, and state as well. Um, so that's good. We're kind of back to working again there. Um, and uh, we're also going to let the user choose a film so that so they'll there'll be a list on the right here and then a, they choose a film from there and then it'll just show the poster for that film on the left. Uh, which is all stored in 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 my table base. Uh, so let's let's choose a selected film index for storing which film the, the user is currently selected. Uh, new state again. Um, that's going to be number or null, and it starts out as null because the user hasn't selected a film yet. And then let's actually go ahead and load um, in our um, our films. So on first load, then we're going to call our get favorite films function, um, and then when that's done, 
uh, we're gonna grab those films that hopefully came down, um, set them in our state, um, and if any came down, which they, they, they will do, I guess, but that's just to be safe. Um, then we'll eject if nothing came, but otherwise we'll just go ahead and choose the first one. All right, cool. So hopefully that'll deal with getting our data. Um, let's try and let's try and get something on screen. So uh, we'll grab a film if 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 one is available. Um, if we've chosen a film and 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 uh, then we'll say grab that film data and should be good to go. Um, and then just to kind of get us going here, um, we'll do, uh, let's say, oops, odd import there. Um, So hopefully that gives us something on screen. Great. Okay, cool. So we've got some, we've got some some film data coming in here. Great. So uh, that that feels good. Let, let's now start um, displaying that. Um, we'll start with the film um, poster first. Uh, so let's uh, get rid of that uh, JSON blob um, and make a, a nice film instead. So we can use uh, scapular scapular again here to um, insert a new component. Um, so I've selected this uh, big uh, yellow area um, and I can use the add component plugin to say I'd like to add a new component inside the selected component. So we've selected this yellow area. So I'll go ahead and do that and I'll name it uh, poster. Um, and then under the covers, what's happened is uh, it's created a file over here on the left for my component and, and helpfully just put in some text to show me where it is. Um, and then we can see that uh, if I jump back to my to my app again um, using here we are so I can jump back to my app code we can see that it's also of course inlined it into into the HTML into the JSX um, so that's that's helpful too um, so we'll pass that film in to the poster um, and that's going to break but that's fine we're going to fix that um, and so let's set up the props. Oops. So that's either a record or it's null, which is fine. Um, and let's say if it's uh, null, then we'll, um, well, actually, what should we do here? Um, yeah, if it's null, then let's return. So, yeah, cool. Um, so now let's get our poster on screen. So the, the poster data has a name for the film and um, a URL for the poster. Um, sorry, the film data has that. So I'm going to pull that out. Um, so let's get that. Great. Um, and let's just pop that in just to check that we're kind of moving in the right set area okay so my, my first favorite film on my list is dog day afternoon so that that's looking really cool um and let's get out grab the url as well uh, for the poster okay great um, and now let's actually go ahead and display that your that uh, poster. So I'm going to pop in an image tag, uh, and the source is the poster URL, of course. Uh, and we'll give it a nice alt tag as well. Poster for whatever the name of the film is. Okay, great and cool. We've got uh, Dog the Afternoon poster in there. Okay, so that, that that's feeling good. Um, we're, we're pretty much done with this poster component. So we'll, we'll jump back to uh, the um, uh, the app component again and um, in the code and, and, and focus over here for a second again. Um, so we, we want to show a list of films on the right. Um, and uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll work on that now. 
Um, so we're going to use the same technique of of uh, just creating a new component. Um, well, actually, how are we going to do this? Yeah, that's the, I think that's the right way to do it. So let's get rid of right. Um, and we're going to use the same technique of creating a new component. We'll do it inside again. And this one we're going to call film list. Sounds good. Um, and again, does the same thing, sets up the component for us. And so we can start, we can start building it. Uh, now this is going to take um, uh, some sort of uh, set of films, uh, I guess, and it's also going to take uh, a function that, uh, that we'll call when someone selects uh, a particular film. Um, so films is going to be an array of uh, records. Uh, and then we're also going to get um, an on select and we'll just tell them which which index was selected. Great. Um, and so it's now complaining because it's saying, oh, we're not passing in uh, the thing. So we have to go, kind of go old school and say, oh, sure, no problem. So we'll say uh, films and on select. And I guess that's going to be, well, we've actually already got the function here, so we can do set selected film index. OK, so um, type check is happy again. Uh, so we're passing in the right stuff. Now let's make it actually uh, do something useful. So we want to kind of just show a list of, of, of films that the user can flip between. Um, so I'm going to uh, make, um, well, I guess we can just map through the films. Um, and yeah, I just we just want to show them as a as a box with the name. Um, so let's start with that, just nice and easy. Um, so let's return. Uh, I've got the film here. Um, okay, great. Um, cool. And. Uh, Okay, great. And are we calling this? That's kind of a bit weird. Uh, yes, we are. That's great. Um, oh, shoot. I see what I did. Um, that is not actually the name of the field. There we go. Okay, great. So we've got a nice list of, of, of some of my favorite films. Um, and let's make that look a little bit nicer. Uh, so we'll do a div. And I guess we we'll want to give it a key. Oops. Of the name. Um, and oh yeah, well let's see. Let's add that in a second. And I guess we'll on, on click. So we just say on select with whatever the index is we're on right now. Oh, we need to pop that in. Um, all right, great, fantastic. Uh, so now um, we've got, uh, and then just let's just pop the name in there. Oops. Great. Okay, so now we can kind of click on these things, and we we show show different different film posters, which is cool. Let, let's make that look, look a little nicer. Um, uh, so we'll give it a white background, um, nice, and let's give it a bit of padding, um, like that. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new component in here. Um, and we'll call it film list, or, or we'll call it, um, let's call it, uh, I guess, just, just film in list or something. So let's add that in here. That's great. Um, and now we've got our film in list component. Uh, and if we just hop back to film list, that's actually the one 
that we want to show here. So let's grab uh, this stuff and pop it in there. So we're going to lose. Okay, great. <laughs> um, and then let's pass in film here. Um, and we'll have to create that. Okay, lovely. And now we can just reproduce what we were going, doing here. So we've got, uh, what's it? Um, film dot fields um, dot name, I guess. Great. Okay, so we're back here now. That's nice. And so now, in theory, we can explore one of these guys and say, great, let's uh, go ahead and um, add a border. Fantastic. And we're going to do a white background. That's great. So that's the same. We'll, let's round that border um, and we'll make a bit of, um, let's say, a bottom margin. That's really nice. Uh, we'll do a bit of padding inside as well. OK, fantastic. That's looking a lot better. And then I think what we can do is we can jump back to our film list and remove the white padding from here because we're doing that on the inner element. OK, that's all nicer. Fantastic. So um, we're pretty much done. Uh, I'm just going to, as a final thing, I'm just going to um, add a pointer um, to this so that they're clearly clickable. That's great. OK, great. So now we've got a nice pointer there. Um, and then we can just page through all the all the cool movies. Uh, great. OK, so that's that's the kind of uh, main part of Scrap. I'm just going to do one more one more thing where um, to kind of show one other feature, which is uh, the each, each of these things here. So this is kind of big styling chunk of stuff. The the adding component stuff is each, each one is a is a separate plugin. Um, and I'm just going to demonstrate adding a plugin on the fly because it feels like you should be able to adjust the tool as, as you use it. So I'm going to add a new one, which lets me uh, show the props on the currently selected um, that are being passed into the currently selected element. Um, so let me go ahead and do that. So I'll call it uh, show props. Oops. And now I've got my show props uh, plug in here. Uh, and I can and it's been opened up on the left hand side here as well. So let me go and uh, implement that. Um, now I'm I'm going to be kind of piggybacking off of some of the React um, DevTools stuff, which is, is super cool. Uh, so first of all, let's just say um, I guess so. Uh, just a quick explanation. Um, uh, we get the, the plugin gets passed in a few handy things. Number one, the selected element, which is what we're going to use in this case. Um, so let's just say if there's nothing selected, uh, then let's just show um, nothing. Um, whoops. Oh, whoops. <laughs> um, let's get rid of that. OK, great, that's better. Um, cool, so if there's nothing selected, then, then we don't want to we don't want to do anything because there's no props to show. Um, so let's go ahead. So basically, because we've got React DevTools running, then we can go ahead and get um, the props directly off the element. So I'll just show you how we do that. So uh, we're going to grab, uh, well, let's actually just start with this. So we're going to say, um, Let's get the uh, keys and values on the selected selected element, um, and uh, let's find the one where the key um, uh, starts with React props. So um, So this is a handy feature of uh, the React DevTools. 
Um, and that should be good. Um, and then that's going to give us um, the key and the value, I guess. So we can say um, Uh, and then we're going to say, uh, let's actually get the props if they, if they, so if we end up finding them, which we should do, but um, we'll just be a little bit extra safe. Uh, so if we did find something, then let's go and grab the value, uh, which is in there because we uh, uh, iterated through elements, uh, sorry, the entries rather. Um, otherwise, it's just null. And if it comes up null, so if we got props, we didn't get props rather. Then we're going to return null again because we don't want to have, have anything to show. And then finally, um, we're going to actually show these props using. Uh, we're not, not going to be too fancy about it. We're just going to use uh, a. Uh, let's import util. Uh, should call library. Um, and we'll use the inspect on the util, which will basically just uh, print out um, a, a nice piece of JSON for us. So let's start with the props and we'll say we don't want it compact because we want it to spread over several lines um, and we want to spread over several lines. OK, great. Um, OK, great. So let's try and uh, select a component now let's start with I don't know this one or something um, and so that, that that's working already we can see that so we can see that uh, the data name prop is set to film and list I don't care about that but the class name is that and uh, the children is just the text 13 days so, so that seems to be working um, let's actually make it look a little bit easier to understand by putting it in a pre um, that's a little nicer let's make that I guess we'll make it overflow as well So now we can now we can scroll it left to right. Okay, cool. So now we can kind of select any component um, and just see see what props were passed in. So let's try that one. Um, so we've just got a bunch of film lists and stuff like that. Um, and then this one, as we saw before, uh, shows us the class name and the children being passed in. Cool. Um, so that's everything. So just to review, we kind of used the GUI to, uh, to to build some of the visual parts of our application, which 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 felt helpful. Um, and we were also able to create components without too much faffing around. Um, and then finally, we were able to we were able to build a plugin um, on the fly um, to to show the props of a of a particularly a, a particular selected element. Cool. Thanks.